Hey everyone, Face here again with you with uh, uh, video number two in my tutorial series on uh, lighting models with simple electronics. Uh, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to construct a simple uh, lighting circuit uh, using three uh, five millimeter uh, red LEDs uh, and a 12 volt power supply. Uh, I'm only using a 12 volt because I don't have anything smaller uh, that's close by, unfortunately. So you can see here all the different tools that you will need to build a simple uh, circuit with uh, with three LEDs. We have the aforementioned uh, 12 volt battery supply, um, a spool of black wire for the negative. Uh, I don't have any red, unfortunately, so blue will have to suffice for the uh, the positive. Uh, this is what they call a 9 volt battery snap because it uh, has the same type of connector as a 9 volt battery. This is what will actually connect to the, uh, the power supply. Uh, we have one resistor. This one is rated at 510 ohms and three LEDs uh, that are rated at 5000 millicandelas. Uh, we have my trusty uh, clippers and as you all saw in my last video, my one of my favorite tools, my uh, wire wrapping tool. So let's uh, let's get started on uh, on on putting this all together. <clears throat> so first off, we're probably going to need about 18 inches total of uh, of black wire, uh, cut up into um, five uh, sections. So now we'll strip off about an inch or so of insulation off of the end of each wire. We now have all our black wire, so I'm going to need um, about eight inches or so of, uh, of the positive, the blue wire, as well. So again, we'll strip off the insulation. Probably won't need this much, but you know, my motto, it's better to have too much than not enough. So that is all the wire that we're going to need so so we don't lose our wire stripper. We'll put it back inside and get all the, uh, the insulation bits out of the way. Now, as I said before, the blue wire is going to be our positive. And now an LED uh, has two terminals on it, a positive and a negative terminal. Now, unlike a light bulb, an LED is unidirectional. Uh, current can only flow through it in one direction. Now, you can see there, the two terminals are of different lengths. Now, an LED, with an LED, the longer terminal is always the positive. So, we'll start by attaching the blue wire. Again, we're using blue as the positive, only because I don't have any red to the positive terminal of the first LED. There. And then, now, because I, I'm only doing it this way because I have more black than I have blue, um, I'm going to start to string along, connect the, uh, the other LEDs from uh, uh, using the black wire uh, going from the shorter negative terminal to the longer positive terminal on each one. So here you can see I'm connecting the black wire to the shorter negative terminal. See there? Now, LED number two in the string. This wire can be a little finicky sometimes. There we go. As I said, you want to connect the wire coming off of the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the second LED. So now you can see we have two attached together. And you'll continue this again for the third one. So there, now you can see we have all three LEDs attached together. Um, from uh, positive to negative to positive to negative uh, on each one. Now, this is where we have to attach the resistor. 
uh, without a resistor. As I've, as I've stated many times in various blogs and other build-ups, I am not an expert, so I don't do any math when it comes to this sort of thing. I just sort of wing it. And uh, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then obviously I'm doing something wrong, and I'll change what I'm doing to make it work. This resistor, as I said, is rated at 510 ohms, and um, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Um, so all I know is that uh, with the 12 volt power supply, and really with any any significant power supply, if you don't attach a resistor uh, between your power supply and your LEDs, your LEDs are going to burn out. So when I was learning how to do this, I burned out a lot of LEDs simply by being careless or by playing around. So ever since then, I always just make sure I play it safe and throw a resistor in there just in, just to be on the safe side. So here now we have our three LEDs and a resistor wired up. And now, in order to connect these to my battery snap, rather than actually wiring them directly to it, I like to use a bit of a shortcut. I like to use gator clips because it's convenient and I have a lot of them. So just a simple um, just simply stick them together and uh, and clip them and they'll uh, they'll stay nicely. You can actually with these ones actually these have a screw so you can actually wire them directly together but um, I'm too lazy to do that right now. So so now here you can see we have our completed circuit. Uh, we have uh, the, pa the positive terminal coming off to the positive of the first LED, and then from the negative to the positive of the, of the first LED to the positive of the second, from the negative to the positive of the third, from the negative to the resistor. A resistor, doesn't matter where you place it, it could be between two LEDs, it could be on the positive side, it could be on the negative side, it doesn't really matter, it just has to be there. Um, it doesn't matter which direction it faces, it just needs to be there. So. With that part, or with that all finished, now let's uh, let's hook her up, and there we go. That is one assembled circuit. Uh, this is what they call a series uh, circuit, uh, rather than uh, the alternative being a parallel, which I will describe in the next uh, video. In a series circuit, you have literally one circle. The, the electricity has one path to go. It goes down the positive uh, and then comes back uh, the negative. Or is it the other way around? I don't remember, but regardless. Um, the electricity has literally only one path to go. Whereas in a parallel circuit it has multiple paths. But like I said, I will describe that in the next video. So that's really pretty much all there is to it. Lighting a model is not that difficult. Um, I got started doing this about uh, a year and a half ago. My first lit model was a Klingon Bird of Prey. Um, and I bought all my supplies for that from a, uh, a local hobby or a local electronics store. I think I spent about $35, and that included a soldering iron, solder, wire, LEDs, resistors, battery packs, everything. Uh, anything I could possibly have needed. I walked out of there spending less than $40. Um, and that's pretty much what I find is, uh, is, is keeping the most people away from trying their hand at, uh, at electronics in a model, is either the cost or how complicated it is. And that's basically what I'm trying to show with this video series, is that it's really, it's neither. It's not expensive, and it's not complicated if you have a basic grasp of what you're doing. And I hope by the end of this series, uh, everyone who's watching this will have an understanding of how it works. And so, so yeah, um, uh, to everyone out there uh, who's been watching this, I hope you've enjoyed it. And, uh, and stay tuned for my next video. I will demonstrate how to build a, uh, a parallel circuit uh, using multiple different types and colors and ratings of LEDs. So stay tuned and happy modeling.